Commissioners, department directors, elected officials, honored guests, good afternoon and welcome. This building has been a long time coming. We look forward to this project moving along and our occupancy in 2022. This is a big day, an historic day, a milestone of brick and mortar. This building will be a building of service to the people and it will help produce the Jaga way of life. It's just pretty humbling to see all, all the people that are here, you know, representing Geauga County from all of our different departments and residents of this, this community, everybody that seems to be just a, a part of this community and wants to see us continue to move forward. The future potential for where we are standing today is huge. I can envision this area to be more than just a hospital and some county buildings. This can be a destination for residents of Geauga County and beyond. I say thank you and congratulations to everybody. Commissioners, department directors, elected officials, honored guests, good afternoon and welcome. Thank you all for being here today. I would like to especially recognize and thank Mr. Stephen Jones and Dr. Don, Donald DiCarlo from the University Hospitals for being here. Today we have the official groundbreaking ceremony for the new Geauga County building, office building. We look forward to this project moving along and our occupancy in 2022. This building has been a long time coming, not only the four plus years of planning for this specific building, but the numerous years before that, when discussions about a more centralized combined facility for county, county offices have been discussed. At this time, the commissioners would like to each say a few words about the project. Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to be here today in this groundbreaking ceremony. Jaga County is where history meets the future. Hundreds of years ago, to start a building project, the builder would start with a cornerstone. Today, we have groundbreaking ceremonies. Let's pause for a moment with a prayer about the cornerstones by author Karen Barber. On this stone, laid down with prayer, let thy church rise strong and fair. Every Lord thy name be known where we lay this cornerstone. May thy spirit here to rest to the heart by sin oppressed and the, and the seeds of truth be sown where we lay this cornerstone. By wise masters builders squared here, living stones prepare for the temple near thy throne, Jesus Christ, our cornerstone. Dear Lord, watch over our construction project and keep the skilled trades safe and sound, amen. After, after high school, I followed my dad's footsteps and became a bricklayer. He worked, we worked together a lot over the years. I miss him every day. He taught me a lot about building buildings and a lot about life. Now, now I went from building buildings to building relationships. Dad, you brought me from being a craftsman to a commissioner, and I want to thank you. As was mentioned, this, this building project is a long time coming. To that point, we want to acknowledge the past commissioners who purchased the property in the 70s and the past commissioners who dedicated Ravenwood and Merritt in the 80s. Not had it for their foresight, the, this, process would, this process to get to this point would have been even longer. This new facility will bring the county offices that are most utilized by the citizens to a more centralized location within the county, hereby making the services, services provided more convenient. I want to look forward to watching this building. I look forward to watching this building being constructed and for the future when this building will provide a great space for the county employees to work to provide the necessary services to the citizens of this great county. Yes, this is a big day, an historic day a milestone of brick and mortar. This building will be, will be a building of service to the people and it will show a sense of community, a sense of pride, and it will help produce the Jaga way of life. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for uh, coming in today. I'm Ralph Spitaleri. Um, just a real quick and brief here. It just 
pretty humbling to see all, all of the people that are here, you know, representing Geauga County from all of our different departments and residents of this, this community, everybody that seems to be just a, a part of this community and wants to see us continue to move forward. But just real quick, a couple of special thanks that we that, that I'd like to basically put out there is obviously our staff, um, you know, some of the past commissioners, as Jim had stated, um, our, our, our county administrator, Dave Lairs, there's Dave back there, and um, Jim Flays for the, uh, handling all the um, legal part of this. And, um, but our, our, our partnerships with also with university hospitals with uh, Steve Jones and Dr. DeCarlo, that absolutely, uh, um, when we contacted you guys about uh, five years ago, as far as the JFS building that you guys gave, gave us an opportunity to get behind us and support us was really what made the difference in getting this ball rolling. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that you guys have had for us the, the whole way through this, and thank you. Um, NV5, with the, with your, your efforts and, and, and the savings already has been happening with you guys on board. Uh, Donley and Independence, same thing. Every, everybody just working together as a team. And it's just uh, real comforting to see this. And this is not something that just happened overnight. Uh, kudos to uh, Jerry and, and to Commissioner Tim Lennon, too. And I, I got I to gotta tell you, you know, super proud of, of Tim and Jerry. Those th These two have actually been very, very instrumental as far as, you know, putting putting forth the, the the heavy foot and sometimes Tim with the heavy hand and I and, and publicly I want to if, if anybody has had to ever deal with Tim you'll understand that it's not something that's very easy sometimes to get your point across to him and convince him on change so um, but you know honestly Tim I haven't said that to you so I'll say it to you now thank you and um, but at the end of the day I just can't thank everybody enough. It's going to be a proud moment for us. It's going to be a proud moment for our veterans to have a nice facility. Also, I see Michelle, John, everybody's here. Steve, also, you, you could appreciate this for our veterans to have a nice place for us to be able to to, to respect and, and and give back to them. And it just gives our county a, a better um, better image and a in a in a great eye for our county. And and I think it's just going to serve our residents that much better. So I'll start, stop blabbing, and I'll pass the uh, mic to Tim. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Ralph. I never knew I was the heavy hand, but I, I do like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I just want to take a moment and recognize University Hospitals um, and the partners they are in uh, being here today, especially Mr. Stephen Jones and Dr. Donald DiCarlo. Um, these two gentlemen have been a big part of what has moved this building project to become a reality. Um, it is their visions of what Jaga Hospital can and will be and their plans for job and family service building that was purchased from the county really started to push this project forward. There is much synergy between the hospital and county services. You have the Department of Aging, Job and Family Service, Veteran Services, just to name a few. The future potential for where we are standing today is huge. Um, I can envision this area to be more than just a hospital and some county buildings. This can be a destination for residents of Geauga County and beyond, providing not only health care and county services, but potentially business opportunities as well. University Hospital plans for the JFS building will bring many high paying jobs to Geauga County as well as economic stimulus. UH Geauga has become more than just a local hospital. UH Geauga is a regional player offering world class care. The county commissioners look forward to a continued partnership with University Hospitals and a big thank you to Mr. Jones, Dr. DiCarlo, and all of our UH partners. If we could give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> also, just one quick side note I have to mention that I am very proud of. Um, from the very beginning discussions uh, four years ago, the commissioners made it criteria number one that we do this project within current general fund budget. That means no new taxes. No new taxes. I mean, that's, that's a heck of a statement to be able to make in today's day and age in government. And with the scope and size of this project, that is unheard of, I would, I would think. So 
um, due to fiscally conservative leadership, past and present commissioners, all of the elected officials and department heads. Uh, this building will serve the residents of Geauga County proudly for many years to come. I say thank you and congratulations to everybody. Yeah. Jerry. Thank you, commissioners, not only for your words here today, but for your steady leadership in guiding this project through the process, dealing with the ebbs and flows and addressing the naysayers and those that would try to throw roadblocks in the way of doing what is right for the citizens of Geauga County. Because it, was not good, because it was not good for them, they could not see the benefits this project will provide. Through all this, you kept your eye on, the, on what was best for the county and got past the trouble spots where previous office building projects ended. Additionally, we want to give a thank you to a couple of former county officials who were instrumental in getting this project off the ground. First, former Commissioner Skip Claypole, who led the drive to bring Bowen Architects on board to evaluate the existing county office facilities and look at possible options for office consolidation. Second, my predecessor, Dave Lair, who during his tenure as county administrator saw the plans of new county facilities to bring the offices together start and stop many times but his steady leadership kept the idea alive and maintained the focus needed to eventually get to this day. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Skip. Thank you. Further, we recognize Clerk of Courts Denise Kaminsky for, her, for help, her help in the design and planning of this building. With this new building, Denise's longtime goal of bringing the title department and the Bureau of Motor Vehicles office under one roof will be realized. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> and also to Prosecutor Jim Flays and APA Laura LaChapelle, they also deserve a big thank you for their work with Benish Law Firm in drafting the legal documents for all of this. Thank you, Jim. Finally, although Commissioner Spitaleri already thanked them, I want to acknowledge the teams that have done all, that have done and will continue to do the important work on this project. The designers and architects, then design architects, Bob Fiala, Brad Gellert, and their team, owners representatives, representative NV5, Mark Seyfried, and Zach Turner, and their team, and construction manager Donnelly's Independence, Don Dreyer, Greg Cons Consolo, Kevin DiGeronimo, Dominic DeLuca, Pat Canada, Jack Bauman, and their staff. Thank you. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to give each one of them a, a few, a couple minutes to have a discussion. We'll start with Bob Fiala from TDA. Thank you, Jerry. On behalf of TDA Architecture, and some of our team members are here today, Emily and Ryan and Brad, we'd like to thank, thank the commissioners uh, and Jerry Morgan, the departments and agencies that we've worked with for this opportunity. It's been a great experience thus far, and we're looking forward to working with NV5 and Donnelly's Independence in the coming months so that we're back here in a year or two from now to do a ribbon cutting. So thank you again on behalf of our firm. Next, Mark Seyfried from NV5. Uh, thank you uh, as well from uh, NV5. We want to um, congratulate the county and all of the stakeholders on the, this very impressive milestone that we're achieving today and all of the steps uh, prior to this uh, to set the stage for today to happen. And then secondly, on behalf of NV5's uh, team uh, locally, our employees were very proud to serve on this project and uh, help shape the vision forward and the legacy this uh, building will serve forward. Thank you. And finally, from Don Lee's Independence, Don Dreyer. Thank you, Jerry. This is, uh, this is an exciting time for two reasons. Number one, as a Jogger County resident for the last 38 years, I'm proud to have this building constructed in the site that it is, number one. Number two, what it does for the county is amazing. It's going to pull the services together, like we talked about earlier, in one location, more efficient and better for all those county uh, residents. So I'm proud in that standpoint. I'm also proud that uh, from the standpoint that the team that has been assembled here uh, between NV5, 
uh, then design. Uh, it's an amazing team, and we're proud to be part of it. Uh, we have a long history of successful projects, and those projects are, are only a result of the people that uh, are on the team. I'd just like to recognize at this moment some of the team members that, that are here, starting in pre-construction with Pete Dorio and Brian Lobsher, worked uh, tirelessly to get the project to the budget that it is, and we're proud of what we, they were able to do. And then Dom DeLuca, Vice President, and Greg Consolo, Vice President. Uh, and then two important people, I think, that uh, are the key to this project that will be the front line. Pat Canada, Project Manager, and John Clark in the back. Uh, they will be doing the heavy lifting. They will be on site here. They will be the ones that will oversee from the standpoint of the quality, the schedule, uh, safety, and everything that makes a, a project successful. And as I said, uh, we have a long history of successful projects, and we'll be proud to add this one to that list. We will work very hard and be stewards, good stewards of the money, the financial assets of this project, and make sure this project is completed on time, within budget, and the quality that this community expects to be done with. So again, we're very proud to be part of this project, and let me just ask Patrick to say a few words. Thank you, Don. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I just want to add to or continue the theme here of what a great team. Uh, again, it's been a very, very long road to get here. Obviously, uh, we built a very, very good team, worked through a lot of challenges. We're all very, very excited to get this project started, keep our fingers crossed for good weather. Uh, as a Geauga County resident, I'm very excited as well about this project. And uh, as Don mentioned, we're, we're looking forward to a very successful project that will benefit the community for, for years to come. Thank you. We have uh, uh, Commissioner, our neighboring county, uh, Jerry Serino here today. I've picked Jerry's brain over the years, and I know all the other commissioners and Jerry with their county administrator has, has really helped us in making some hard decisions, and, and um, we're kind of been riding their coattails as they just had finished a project for their county administrative buildings and service buildings. So, um, Jerry, if you, if you wouldn't mind just coming up real quick and maybe just giving us a... Um, the benefits of what we're doing here today. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Uh, well, first of all, I bring uh, congratulations uh, from your neighboring county to the north. Uh, as Tim mentioned, we just uh, a little over a year ago completed a five-story building administration center down in uh, downtown Columbus, or Columbus. I'm <laughs> I like the media to ignore that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, I couldn't have planned that any better. Uh, in Painesville, how could you get Painesville and Columbus mixed up? I mean, that's that's. <laughs> anyway, I, I can tell you. First of all, your renderings look fabulous, and it's just going to be a. You're, you're really going to really enjoy this building when it's finished. And in you know, we consolidated a number of uh, departments into our new building. And uh, not only was that more efficient, and we were able to actually, uh, you know, make uh, some of the departments uh, work more closely together that uh, that distance uh, was precluding before. But what's most important, and I think it'll be the same for you, is it has allowed us to provide better services, more efficient services to the taxpayers of our county. And I'm sure your, your uh, uh, residents are going to find the same thing here. The flow of information, the flow of, you know, paying fees and, uh, you know, getting uh, documentation done and so on is going to be much improved uh, by having more and more under one roof. So you will enjoy that. The taxpayers will enjoy it. And I, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the progress of this project uh, until its completion. So congratulations to all of you. Thanks, Thanks Tim. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.